Once again welcome back to my channel and today we are unboxing and doing the hands-on review of Realme by Oppo. We have a 4x64GB variant which is made in India. Now let's crack it open. Let's unbox it. We have something here. Oh, uh, yeah, a silicon case as it is told in the description. A very clean, flexible silicon case. And we have some paperwork, a cube guide, and instructions. I think that is a SIM ejector tool. Let's check that. Yes, it is. And now let us check what is beneath the phone. Yes, we do have a charger. And a standard charger by Oppo oh sorry I will focus it for you which is a normal 5 volt 2 ampere charger which is branded by Oppo itself and what else we got I wish I could get a type C cable with this but unfortunately it's a budget oriented device so it will be a normal micro USB cable itself and we are having six months manufacturer warranty for the inbox accessories including the batteries from the date of purchase and the standard one year warranty for the device and we have peeled it off the phone itself is just 154 grams which is very light and it gives a lot of grip to it and when you look carefully you can see there is a screen guard which is pre-applied by the brand itself which is very nice and for those who don't like that they can peel it off and they can apply a timber glass for their extra, extra protection which will be very helpful for the careless ones like me just in case for an extra protection for your display which is very costly nowadays and now let's turn it on It is powered by Android Oreo 8.1 with 2 GHz MediaTek Helio P60 Octa Core processor with 8 cores of CPU and 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB internal memory and which is expandable up to 256 GB. On top of this Android Oreo 8.1, Color OS is run by Oppo.
we got an update immediately after using the device for a while and we'll wait until it's completed and let's check other specs around the phone we have a mono speaker on the left side and a micro USB a microphone and a 3.5 mm jack on the left side we have got volume rockers and the power key and the sim tray which supports dual micro sims and a memory card and the bezels of this phone is very minimalist and which is pretty good which adds beauty to this silver variant of realme 1s and the phone itself is rebooted and oppo designed by oppo assembled in india now let us test the face id of this device initially we have to type the password manually for the first time after that the face id will be automatically detected and it is blazingly fast it unlocks in 0.1 seconds you can see a small lock button in the lock screen when you face the device and when the face id is activated it will be showing the unlock icon and soon after that the phone will be unlocked everything works in just in a fraction of 0.1 seconds after testing this camera for a while i feel like the front camera is more efficient than the rear facing camera both the front and rear facing camera is of f2.2 aperture and the front facing camera is just 8 megapixel and and the rear facing camera is 13 megapixel with same f2.2 aperture I hope you guys have noticed its thinner bezels and smaller chins because of its 6 inch full HD display with 18 to 9 aspect ratio with a pixel density of 402 which is fair under this price range. And it is having a decent battery backup which stands for a day out of the 3410 mAh package. So that's it about the Oppo Realme 1S. Now I have used the silicone case which is provided along with the uh, inbox accessories. So the final impressions about the device after using this for a while is this will be a huge competitor for the other devices under this budget friendly price range. And I highly recommend this device for everyone those who need a lot of power within the limited budget. And that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon after it and for more unboxings and tech videos.